Okay, so this is my first attempt at etching a PCB. Well, not my first attempt, my first successful attempt. My first attempt is over here, and as you can see, it didn't uh, quite work out. I had to draw this by hand using a permanent marker. Now, one thing I learned is that a Sharpie is not the same as a permanent marker. This will not work and you can't stop it halfway during the etching process and redo the tracks with the permanent marker. Uh, it's going to end up looking like this. This was done using the uh, toner transfer method. Basically I took a shiny piece of paper from an uh, advertisement and uh, printed uh, this pattern on it using a laser printer. Now, one thing I forgot is that when you do the toner transfer method with the uh, iron, the image is flipped. So it's supposed to be like this. What that means is the components I was originally going to place on it now have to be flipped as well. <laughs> Which I can still work with, but it kind of messes things up. Another mistake I made was not properly checking the alignment of the patterns when putting them on both sides. See, these pads on the side here are supposed to be aligned with the pads on this side. So once I screwed that up, I manually went in with a permanent marker and uh, attached them to the traces. And even then, it didn't kind of really work. Now, one good, one really good thing I learned while trying this is. Um, a really fast method of etching using a teaspoon of uh, ferric chloride and a sponge. Basically, you just wet the sponge with the ferric chloride and gently wipe it with the soft side. And as you keep repeatedly wiping it, the copper will disappear extremely fast, much, much faster than just uh, dipping it in the solution. So uh, I'm going to scrape off the toner and then start soldering all the the hundred LEDs that will go here. Hopefully this works out.